What's up everybody, this is Supreme Decisions here and you guys probably remember when I did this video, I wanna say probably about six, eight months ago, but it was from an incident in 2019. I actually put up why this officer, his name is, well, former patrol, um, state patrol officer, Charles Hewitt, why he and his actions were wrong. Yeah, I put up why his actions were wrong and were unacceptable when it comes to his police duties and police procedures. Now the video got laid with all kind of crazy stuff, but here's the great part about it. You ready? This young man that you see in the video, he actually sued Charles Hewitt and there was a settlement. Yes, it took less than two years to get that done. Charles Hewitt remained on the force the entire time. Charles Hewitt was just fired on yesterday. Why? Because of the actions in this video for the things that I said he had done wrong. What happens when you don't follow proper policing or Supreme Court decisions which set up police procedures, which some people don't believe police actually have procedures they must follow. This is for those that were what I refer to as police apologists. Whenever they're saying, well, this young man should have done something. The problem is the onus is not on the young man because that young man, according to this little thing called the constitution, he has the right to remain silent. He has the right to be private. And since he is not the one that's making any accusations, the person making accusations must be able to prove this young man did something. Police officer, according to Terry v. Ohio, cannot give instructions without probable cause of a crime. And just like we spoke about Ren v. U.S., the traffic stop itself is lawful. But that does not mean, like Florida v. Royal states, that this young man is obligated to participate. And it does not change the procedures of the police officer because if there's probable cause of an actual crime, not a traffic infraction, there are other issues or other things at stake which must be followed, such as protocol, department policy. And we've been watching time after time after police officer after police officer after police officer have been now being charged more often, they're being reprimanded more often, and now more in the public eye, the whole thing comes back to the one thing I constantly say. You have to now flip that 5% that actually fights back to 10 and watch how change happens. Change doesn't come outside. Change comes from within. These are the things that we must do if we are looking to change the current system of policing that we have right now. So that's what I have for you right now. More videos are coming, but I just want to give you an update on the video where I was told by so many people that that video that I did was wrong. Yet, the results say otherwise. 